What up? Today's video is going to be really short and sweet and super fun because we are going to be swatching and reviewing all of the In Beauty lip glazes. Spoiler alert, if you've been here for a while, you already know this is one of my favorite products. Um, the texture is amazing. These products are affordable. The packaging is super fun and they all come in really delicious nostalgic scents. So like what's not to love? If you like this video, it would mean a lot if you'd subscribe to my channel and like and comment on the video. This just helps my channel grow. It helps new people find me uh, and it would mean a lot. But you know, if you don't want to stick around, that's okay too. Let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna talk a little bit about the product. I'm gonna read the website description and then we'll get into the swatches and the demo of all the shades. So the In Beauty Lip Glazes retail for just $15 and they're described as a juicy lip oil that gives you soft, plump, and deliciously glossy lips, naturally colored, flavored, and 100% vegan. Um, In Beauty is a clean beauty brand, if that's your thing. So these are described as a lip oil and I can definitely see what they mean. Um, there's a little bit of that oily quality to it, but I feel like calling it a lip oil really does a disservice to the product. To me, it's like the most juicy, wonderful, like plump gel, like liquid lip balm meets gloss meets oil, you know, like I feel like lip oils really just like sink into the lips don't feel nourishing. They show like your lip lines. I just, I've never had a really good experience with lip oils. So don't let that put you off. If you also don't like lip oils, they're like really plump and gel like and delicious. Um, they don't slide around your lips. They're extremely comfortable. Um, they're just more of like a hybrid product that I think is really beautiful. The four ingredients that they highlight on the website is uh, natural red root oil. Known to be a magical healing plant, the red oil from this plant soothes and moisturizes dry chapped lips. It also has fermented pomegranate, which helps to gently exfoliate lips so they stay flake free. Did not know that. Um, apple extract, rich in antioxidants and vitamin C, plant-based plumping complex. Okay, cool. Love that for us. Okay. Lastly, uh, the website says that the large applicator is designed to mimic your fingertip for ultimate comfort. Um, so that's what it looks like. Super, super chubby applicator. I love that. It is really, really comfortable and super satisfying to apply. I have thinner lips and I don't find that the large applicator is an issue for me. I actually find that it's just really, really comforting. What's cool is that the applicator is actually slanted up. So it really does kind of feel like a, a big old fuzzy fingertip. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it feels good. Right now in Beauty's having a promo on their website where if you spend $35, you get this for free, which is their extra glaze. It's um, the clear lip oil that has like a bunch of glitter in it and it's the uh, glazed donut scent. All right, enough of the talk. Let's get to the fun stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about each color and each scent. This is the one I've had the longest. I don't know if you can see how much I've used, but this is number one. 
and it is red apple. It's a very, very sheer, very juicy red, no shimmer, and it smells like candy apples, which I never knew I needed. So that's it. That's like a very, very thick layer. I wouldn't really build up more than that because it's a pretty, I would say it's a relatively thick product. Really does smell like red candy apples, but it's just not too sweet. It's like fresh and candy and just nostalgic and delicious. My new favorite is number two, Berry Jam. I've wanted this for ages and God damn, that's good. It really does smell like juicy, delicious, like warm berry jam, like a berry sauce. I just love that number two berry jam isn't too purple. As you can see, there's like a pinkiness to it so that it's still like really, really flattering and really wearable um, while still being a beautiful berry. And it just smells delicious. I think most of the appeal for these for me is all of the different scents. It's just so nice. Okay, number three is another one that I've had for a long time. This is Frosé. It's this light frosty pink. And when I say frosty, I mean frosty. And it doesn't smell like Frosé, like, you know, which is blended rosé wine. It smells like pink lemonade. It just... These just make me really happy, you know? Um, again, pink lemonade scent. You can't feel any of the shimmer at all up close. It's just, you can't even see the shimmer. It's um, just like a frostiness that's really fun. I love wearing this with cool toned eyes. Like when I'm just feeling kind of, you know, ridiculous, I'll put on like a blue eyeshadow or purple eyeshadow. I'll slap this on and it just makes me feel really youthful, really nostalgic. Yeah. This is an unexpected one for me. I really like it. Now, the one I think people are going to be most excited about is this new one. This is Cotton Candy number four, and it is just straight up clear. I've heard a few people say that they don't think this smells like cotton candy. I do. Every now and then I get like whiffs of genuine cotton candy, but there's also like a, like a maple, like a maple candy. Yeah, I would say that this is like a maple cotton candy scent, which honestly I prefer. That little bit of maple makes it really interesting and not too sweet. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. Clear glosses are just so popular right now. I feel like this is probably gonna be their number one seller pretty soon. Lastly, technically this is the only one that doesn't have a number, even though it's number five, it's just labeled as extra glaze. So don't know what that's all about, but this is glazed donut and it is clear with a ton of gold glitter. I'm going to get in close here. You can really see the glitter particles and this is different from Frosé which was shimmer. This is like legit glitter. You can see these like big sparkly glitter particles. Now I will say at first when you rub your lips together you can only feel just an ever so slight bit of the glitter. It's not quite as smooth as all of the others, which is why this is my least favorite texture. I really don't like when I can feel glitter on my lips. However, I'm torn because this is my favorite scent. Oh my God. <laughs> it smells exactly like vanilla Dunkaroos. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know if it smells like a glazed donut, but what's even better to me is vanilla Dunkaroos. I just don't love that you can feel the shimmer. Also, when the gloss wears off, you're left with like glitter all over your lips. If you kiss someone, they get glitter on their lips. So just keep that in mind. But like, this is super fun. It looks beautiful and sparkly and the scent is just like ridiculous. So those are all the pros. As for the cons, I only have one con. I'm gonna see if I can show it to you. So did you see that? When you take the glosses out, there's like a string of gloss that comes out with it. And if you're not careful, you can like shoot gloss everywhere when you're taking this out. So see that? It like leaves like a really long, thick string. So what I do instead is you have to kind of like pull these out. See how there's all that like, tension pulling them out instead I just kind of like use my thumb to like slide it out instead 
that's like really getting into the weeds here, getting complicated about like how to open a lip gloss. But I'm just saying, I have like flung gloss on the wall by accident because of it. So just like keep it in mind. What I really want to see from In Beauty next is a warm chocolate one. That's like, like a deeper sheer brown with a hint of red. So it's warm with a chocolate scent, maybe like a peach with a peach scent and then a coral with like a mango scent or something fun like that. I would love to see a sheer deep burnt orange and either they could do like a creamsicle scent. Yeah, let's do that. That would be fun. Or like pineapple or something. I would also really love to see a hot sheer pink with like a raspberry or a cherry scent. I think you can tell I'm a fan. So that's it, I hope you like this video. If you tried these, let me know what you think. And also let me know in the comment section below what colors and scents you would wanna create if you could design it yourself because Lord knows I've got a lot of ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.